With all of the talks of impeaching President Trump, poor, poor Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has been left out of the spotlight. So naturally, she had to insert herself into the mix. And she brought Ilhan Omar and Rashida Tlaib with her. Oh, what have they done now? Let's find out together. I'm Katie Petrick, and this is Healthy Republic. If ever a week goes by and you forget that AOC, Omar, and Tlaib exist in this world as supposed representatives in the United States Congress, chances are you're having a good week. But it also means that before long, they'll come out from the shadows and creep up on you in Joe Biden fashion. (laughs) It's just a bunch of hocus pocus! And now that it's October, of course the Sanderson sisters, I mean squad members, are going to be seeking the limelight. It's their month of hocus pocus, focus on me. The month is themed to be scary anyway, so let's prepare ourselves for all of their utter nonsense. Think soothing thoughts. Rabbit bat, black death, (laughs) mummy scorpion pie. (gasps) Mother. And we're gonna begin with the most recent of creepiness and kooky, found in the form of one of AOC's biggest fans, who on Thursday at a town hall in a Queens public library had an idea of sorts. I think your next uh, campaign slogan has to be this. We got to start eating babies. We don't have enough time. There's too much CO2. All of you, you're, you, you know, you're a pollutant. Too much CO2. Too much CO2? Really? Well, this aligns perfectly. I smell children. Sick of- And now we can take it back a week when Ocasio-Cortez put herself in the news with the announcement that she knows nothing about economics, despite having a degree in the subject. It wasn't a direct announcement, but based on what she said, that's the conclusion we all reached. 40 million Americans are living in poverty right now. And if the poverty line was real, if it was at around what some people think it should be, about $38,000 a year, we would be shocked at how much the richest society on the planet is is allowing so much of its people to live in destitute. Who are these people she speaks of? If you think you are in poverty for making $38,000 per year, I don't think I can help you. The poverty line for a one-person household in the United States is $12,490. You get an additional $4,420 per person in the house, according to the Department of Health and Human Services. But then you can get all of the government goodies, Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, Medicaid, Head Start, the National School Lunch Program, the Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program, the Children's Health Insurance Program. I could go on. But that wasn't the worst thing that AOC said. The problem is that America is at its wealthiest point that we've ever been, and yet we've, we are at one of our most unequal points that we've ever been. Wow. Wow. And wow, that's just dumb. Her issue is that too many people are above the poverty line, so we need to raise the line to put more people into poverty. The country is wealthier than it's been, and her claim is that we are so unequal, as is her claim for everything. What AOC is really doing is relying on everyone not actually researching on their own. They are supposed to blindly listen to her. I put a spell on you. And now you're mine. (laughs) You can't stop the things I do. I ain't lying. No! No! Don't look at him! She is lying. AOC is lying. Just because someone makes more money than me doesn't mean that I can't go out and make more money tomorrow. The pie of capitalism is not limited. But AOC wants to limit that pie. And what's worse is she probably doesn't even like pie. AOC then defended her fellow socialist, Bernie Sanders, who talked about heavily taxing billionaires. She clarified the statement that billionaires should not exist does not mean certain people should not exist. It means no person should have a billion dollars. Oh, that's, that's just so much better. So are we to believe that you don't believe what you actually say, but just believe that you are correct in whatever it is you do say? Because according to you, you know what's correct. I remember a time when my, my parents told me, say what I mean and mean what I say. Those were back in the patriarchal days, circa 20 minutes ago. My real question is, if no one is to have a billion dollars, how will George Soros fund you, AOC, and your friends? Will he simply rely on hopes and dreams? And then there's Bill Gates, 
Mark Zuckerberg. And oh, oh no, Oprah. Wait another tweet with AOC's clarification about having a billion dollars to her clarification about people with a billion dollars even existing. I don't think so. I don't think so. I also look forward to AOC donating all of her money that she is given for being a representative in Congress by way of the tax dollar. I look forward to her taking that step in the name of equality and economic justice. But she'll have to talk to her girlfriends and fellow squad members who are spouting a different story. In fact, Ilhan Omar just told a BET News Town Hall that sucking on the government teat is why she became a representative. I'm one of 45 million. 45 million. 45 million. Um, and, you know, it's, it's been part of my journey and one of the reasons that drove me to run for office. I also have a daughter. Not only do I have student debt, but I have a daughter that's going to college in two years. Um, and so the, the realness of this, this burden um, that we all feel shackled with has been real for me. I'm one of the people who are unable to purchase the home that they wanted to. I'm one of the people that are putting off, right, the, the dream to own that business, to create the kind of investment they want in the future that they want to have. Yeah, well, it's called being an adult. You do have responsibility, and you can't get everything you want when you want it. This isn't a Disney magical movie. You know what I mean. What Omar provided was a pure millennial response. She is 38 years old. Today, in fact. Happy birthday, Omar. You've been an adult now for 20 years, but apparently you still have no idea how this all works. And for the record, it's AOC's birthday in just over a week, on October 13th. She'll be 30. Just... Just let that sink in. But like AOC, maybe Omar and Tlaib should consider saving a few pennies instead of spending their money on Ikea furniture and really expensive outfits and jewelry. They're all making $174,000 this year in salary for being members of the House of Representatives. So even if there was a $38,000 poverty line, they are all making more than 450% above the line. Thanks, math. And that's just the base salary. Before all of the perks. Why? Why was I cursed with such idiot sisters? <laughs> Just lucky, I guess. <laughs> Both Omar and now Talib, though, seem to not be making enough money. Talib just confirmed there is a house ethics probe into some payments she made to herself in 2018 following her house victory. It appears she paid herself more than $17,500. And then Omar has been investigated for campaign fraud for possible travel expense payments and was fined in 2018 for improperly filing her taxes. Some people did something. But we should ignore all of these actual violations by these representatives because President Donald Trump is the one who must be impeached. That's what the news focuses on and what their fellow millennial and the Gen Z college students think. On what grounds? Um, you know, he's an asshole, really. I, he can't speak for You know, if there's someone, if we're going to put someone in the presidency, they have to at least be able to speak to the public and not sound like a complete idiot at the bare minimum. You know who else has that same sentiment as that lovely representation of the brightest and the best of the future? Rashida Tlaib. That's who. Bullies don't win. And no. I said, baby, they don't. Because we're going to go in there, we're going to impeach them all. All attention will be paid to the continued efforts to impeach Trump, all the while ignoring the actual violations of some of the loudest and detrimental representatives in the halls of Congress. Representative Ilhan Omar covers this district that we're in right now, and she's been accused of several misgivings while in office. How would you feel about impeaching her? Um, I really don't know enough about her to have an opinion on it. That's the type of focus we are supposed to be paying to our representatives. That's the focus they have in all of this, so that they take all of the focus off of their misdeeds. And they'll keep doing it until they finally get caught, but that's when you watch them squirm. We know politicians talk out of both sides of their mouths. Republican, Democrat, it, it doesn't really matter. They all do it. And when they are not getting enough attention, they will talk even louder and put out even more asinine ideas. Insert squad members here. So as we continue in the month of October, be prepared for even more hocus-pocus 
focus attention grabbing coming from our government officials. Before I go, let's put some attention on me, not those government peeps, because we are approaching 100 episodes of Healthy Republic. As such, we will be doing a Q&A so you can find out why it is that I am the way that I am. You may have been wondering, how did that happen? Or maybe not. Either way, please send in a question and make me ponder. Email media at fpeusa.org or ask in the comments below. Until next time, stay healthy, America.